hello and welcome to Talents Course with ID presentation. My name is Philip, IT project manager at DevSkiller, and today I will be your guide through this presentation. First, let's begin the test. Now we have four options to choose from. Git repository, download upload code, simple in-browser editor, and IntelliJ in-browser editor. For the purpose of this video, I will choose IntelliJ in-browser editor. And let's talk about the overlay first. You can see the timer on which, if it puts some pressure on you or stresses you out, you can click and hide it. If you need to, you can always click again and see exactly how much time you've got left. Before you can see the full task description, the intro, the requirements and the instructions. In the actions tab, you can very easily switch between modes. You can choose again, git repository, download code, simple ID, but for now, let's keep our IntelliJ Web ID. If you want to run the tests, click the button and it will instruct you that you need to click the play button at the very top of the interface. Let's click it now and run the tests. While the tests are being run in the background, let's explore the interface further. In the settings, you can turn on the dark mode or turn on high contrast. Let's keep the dark mode on. You can move this piece of interface around to your desired location. You can also minimize it. Now we can see that the tests are being successfully run. And we can see that five tests have failed. Before we move on to solving this case, let's go through some key functionalities of our Web IntelliJ IDE. First one is autocomplete function. While you're writing the code, you will immediately see some autocomplete suggestions. This makes you write the code very, very quickly. In addition, what this ID allows us to do is run the application in the cloud. That means that whatever machine you are using, whatever its power is, it will run smoothly if you have proper internet connection. We will use our service to make it run as smoothly and as efficiently as possible. In addition, there is a built-in terminal which you can use and a debugger. To solve the task, let's go to task, source, main, Java, and I'll open the giveaway service file. Let's try to implement some changes. We can try to write code. And as you can see, it immediately auto-completes, which is very useful for us because it makes it so much, so much faster than it normally would be. And we used the autocomplete function a few times during writing this short piece of code. Now let's add some more changes and run the tests again. Now with some more changes to the code, we ran the test again. And let's see if that fixed any of the problems that it previously had. Now, clearly, we've got only one test failing, while previously there were five. We just need to find this last problem, fix it, and everything should be perfectly fine. Once you've finished the last problem, click the finish button and you complete the exam.